So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients, one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines, you still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait! If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. <laughs> 